Hello guys, in this After Effects tutorial we are going to create this. First step is to create a new composition, I'm going with 1920 by 1080 resolution, set duration to 10 seconds long. Right click, new, select text, type your text. Align the text to center. Now import metal texture image, download link is provided in the description, drag the image to timeline. Now change track mat to alpha mat, select both the layers, right click, then select pre-compose. Click on OK. Now duplicate the text pre-comp by pressing Ctrl plus D on your keyboard. Now hide the top text layer, select bottom text layer, go to layer, auto trace, then click on OK. Now select the bottom text layer, and apply a saber effect on it. Download link for saber plugin is provided in the description. Change preset to Patronus. Core size to 1.5. Open customize core. Set core type to layer mask. Make sure you are at the first frame, then set start size to 0%. Start offset to 100%. Click on the stopwatch of mask evolution, end size, and offset. Press U to see the keyframes. Now go to 3 seconds. Change the end offset to 0%, go to 8 seconds. Then add one more keyframe for end size and end offset, go to end of the timeline. Set mask evolution to 2. End size to 0 and end offset to 100%. Go to 8 seconds. Now unhide to top text layer, press T on your keyboard, add a keyframe make it 0%, go to end of your timeline, then change opacity to 100%. Now duplicate the top layer one more time. Add a fill effect on it. Set fill color to black. Now search for bevel alpha and apply it on the layer. Set light intensity to 1. Set light angle to 212 degrees. Light color to light blue. Here you can set any color of your choice. Set the text layer mode to add. Now use the same color, for the glow color on bottom text layer. Select all text layers, then pre-compose it. Now set mode to add. Now create another composition for the floor. Import this floor texture image, download link is provided in the description, drag the image to timeline, then apply curves on it. Adjust the curve to something like this. Click on the cube icon to make the layer 3D. Press R, on your keyboard, now set orientation to 270 degrees, Drag the image down and adjust like this. Now apply motion tile effect on the layer. Set output width and height to 200. 
and click on mirror edges. Create a new camera, right click. Select camera. Press P on your keyboard, then add a keyframe. Go to end of your timeline, then decrease the Z position as shown to make a zoom in effect. Now duplicate the main text layer, call it as reflection, decrease the opacity to 75%. Make both the layers 3D, now select, bottom text layer, then press R, on your keyboard, now set orientation to 180 degrees, and adjust as shown. Drag and drop floor composition to timeline. Make sure the reflection of the text is below floor. Then hide the floor layer, create a new adjustment layer, and place it below floor layer. Now add compound blur on the layer. Set blur layer to floor. Maximum blur to 180. Now add CC glass on the layer, open surface, set bump map to floor, softness to 0, height to 4, displacement to 5, open light, set light intensity to 185. Create another adjustment layer. This time add glow to it. Set glow threshold to 50%. And glow radius to 1000. Now open floor pre-comp and copy the camera layer. Make sure all the layers are 3D. Then paste the camera layer. Now you will have a zoom in effect like this. Now import the noise footage. and place it on your timeline. Change the mode to overlay. Your title animation is ready, press 0 to ramp review. For more exciting tutorials, please subscribe my channel.